everybody. Welcome to episode five of Cooking with Katie and a Cocktail. It's hard to believe that it is already episode number five. I thought it was high time that we did a dessert because everyone loves dessert, right? The most perfect part about dessert is that a cocktail pairs very nicely with dessert. And today, the Cooking with Katie of the dessert and the cocktail portion brought to you by Jolo Winery and Vineyards. Today, we're gonna to be having Jolo Twinkles. That's the name of it. And Twinkles is a sparkling wine. And I thought, well, Twinkles has some citrus. It has some strawberry taste or essence, I should say. And so we're gonna be cooking with strawberries, a strawberry dessert, a strawberry cobbler. So the perfect cocktail to go along with that is my Twinkles from Jolo Winery and Vineyards. Cooking with Katie and a cocktail also brought to you by Sprouts Farmer's Market. All of the ingredients purchased at Sprouts Farmer's Market and uh, they're great. They're healthy, living for less. That's where we do our grocery shopping. And today I have several assistants. I have my daughter, Nora. I also have my husband, Ben, who's the production guy. Hello. Hello, everyone. And so cheers. Welcome to Cooking with, uh, Cooking with Katie and a Cocktail. I've already had two cocktails because it's been a day. We're just going to keep on going. Cheers. Okay, so I decided that we were going to be doing, Nora went to the garden and she picked some fresh herbs for us. You'll see how those come into play in a little bit. Um, I decided, you know, strawberries are in season right now. And it's one of the things that we have been able to do is go out and pick some strawberries. We've had access to lots of strawberries like at Sprouts Farmer's Market because they are in season, they're plentiful, they're big, they're juicy, they're sweet. And so because they're bountiful right now, I thought that uh, um, showing you a dessert, an easy dessert, would be a good way to go. Also, I did a little bit of research. One of the things that I love the most about watching cooking shows, especially my girl Vivian Howard from <laughs> Uh, chef's life. If you know me at all, you know that I love Vivian Howard. And um, one of the cool things about her style of cooking is that she likes to keep it very local and she also likes to kind of inform you on what it is that you're cooking and why you're cooking it and where it came from. So, because I love her so much, that's kind of the way that I think as well. And I was wondering, do I prefer a cobbler? Do I prefer a crisp, which is another form of a baked fruit with some sort of topping? There's also something called a buckle. It could be any kind of fruit, a buckle. There's also something called a sunker, which I just learned about. Apparently, it originated in Surrey County, North Carolina, and it's a sunker, but all of those dishes have the same concept. They are baked fruit with some sort of uh, a carb, a carb topping, it, whether it's rolled oats or it's granola or it's a cake type thing like we're gonna be making today with the cobbler. It's all sweet baked fruit with some sort of carb and who doesn't love carbs? So let's get started. This is super easy today. I will tell you, uh, you need to go ahead and get started with your oven at 375. So get that preheating and then um, we're gonna put together our very own strawberry cobblers. So first things first. We're going to start with the cobbler portion. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to remind you that if you are watching me on Facebook Live now, thank you, cheers, and also feel free to comment because my production guy is going to be reading comments and we can interact because we're cooking together. Uh, and he can read all your comments and, and uh, let me know. So, um, Billy Ridgway uh, says, I make sonkers all the time, so I must be a local. Yeah. I, I just learned about sonkers and something, correct me if I'm wrong, Billy, but I, a milk dip. I didn't know what that was, but it, it's like a cream that you can also put on top. I had never heard of a sonker before, but I want to make one now because it sounds really good. Uh, but this cobbler, I chose cobbler as my favorite because while I do love a granola or something crispy on top, I really love cake and I feel like a cobbler is the best of both worlds. You get the baked fruit, you get the cake on top, it's sweet, there's going to be a little bit of a crunch and of course we're going to top it nice and hot with 
some ice cream to bring it all together. All right, so let's start with two and a half cups of a baking mix. This is super easy, you guys. You have Bisquick or you have some kind of baking mix. This is two and a half cups. We're gonna start with this. Nora is gonna help me by mixing it all together. Can you keep it in the bowl, do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. We washed our hands, don't worry. And we have no idea where Henry is. I think he's watching a movie right now, but he's probably gonna make some sort of debut in a little bit. Um, the last time he was left alone, he colored all over the walls and the floor. So yeah, he did. I'm really worried about it. <laughs> Yes, and uh, somebody was asking again what we're, yes. um, what it, it is that you're drinking. It's called Twinkles, and it is a sparkling wine. It has essence of citrus and uh, strawberries, and I'm going to have some more because my husband just reminded me that our son, and I think our daughter, might have drawn all over the walls. I told y'all it's been a day. All right. Oh, cheers, Nora. Cheers. Gentle. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Start him young. Um, Matt Hall commented when he moved to Myrtle Beach, he thought he'd never uh, listen to y'all again. And he's so happy to find uh, that you guys are on down in Myrtle Beach. Thank you very much. We're happy too. We're so, we love it. So thank you very much. In our uh, bowl, we have two and a half cups of a baking mix. I'm using Bisquick. It's what we had in the pantry. We're going to add three fourths of a cup of whole milk. This is dessert, you guys. This is not, oh, I'm using skim milk or whatever. Whole milk going in here and it's gonna make it creamy and delicious. You wanna help me? Mm -hmm. All right. Very rich and decadent. <laughs> All right, so three fourths cup of whole milk. And then we have two tablespoons of brown sugar. It's packed, so that's why it's in the, uh, the shape you see it like that? That's why it's in the shape. I'm just gonna chop it up just a little bit to make sure that it all gets incorporated in here. It's going in, this is the cobbler part of the strawberry cobbler, right? Why don't you let you, I guess the cobbler, it's the carb portion of the cobbler, I guess I should say. All right, so then this is gonna go in there. You can help me do that. All right, and then Nora is going to Stir it all together. Keep it in the bowl, okay? See if you can do that. Just um, incorporate it until it comes together. You don't need to overmix it. And then as soon as that's all incorporated, we're gonna set that aside and let it um, sit for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna get the berries going. Good job, Nora. You can just stir it all together. The berries. It is the highlight, the MVP of this, um, of this recipe. This is two of the um, container fulls of strawberries. Mom, it's getting all mixed up. Good, okay, keep mixing it together. Look how it's getting mixed. I see, good work. The strawberries obviously have been uh, cleaned. They've been hulled, if you let the uh, proper terminology. Really, I just cut the green parts off and then I quartered them. And we're gonna sweeten these. We're gonna get some cornstarch on here. We're gonna use, oh, the, uh, the amount of berries. I, again, I have the two containers full of strawberries. Hey, I wanna help. There he is. Not fair. You can help, you can help. Why don't you go get your police officer hat and then get back to me. No, okay. look how much is in there. I see, okay, can you keep stirring please? All right, uh, so to the berries, we're gonna add a fourth of a cup of cornstarch. This is gonna coat the berries and it's gonna create that thick, syrupy sauce that the juice of the cobbler that gets all incorporated with the the carb portion of the cobbler and it bubbles up when it gets it's the delicious part so we're creating the juice it is uh, a fourth of a cup of cornstarch we're also going to add good job Nori getting tired okay we're also going to add three-fourths of a cup of just plain white sugar give him a spot come here Come here, so, yeah. come here. No. You can stand beside by me. Okay. Watch your toes. Get that going in there too. Is it all done? Keep going just a little bit more, please. And we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. And that's gonna. Your friend. Um, <laughs> Go in as well. Juliana said that there's a some kind of brown sugar bear thing that you can put into your brown sugar and it keeps it from clumping up. 
Hey, Jill. The brown sugar bear, I have heard of that. It keeps it moist. You know how I love that word. I'm, I'm, I'm done stirring. Okay, great. You can just leave that right in there. Can I lick it? No, you can lick it in just a little bit when it's finished. There's no eggs, so don't worry. Not that the raw eggs ever stop me. No, they haven't. <laughs> All right, so we're getting the, the berries going. Hi, Henry. Okay, I'll let you add that in just a minute, okay? Getting this nice and coated. This uh, this bowl, by the way, is the bottom of our salad spinner. And I chose it because it was see-through because I wanted you, you to see how beautiful these strawberries are. I know on our, um, I feel like on everybody's Facebook feed right now, it is everyone's going out and picking some strawberries from local farms or buying it from Sprouts, your local farmer's market. Um, you know, because it's tis the season, right? So get this all incorporated. This is this, the uh, cornstarch, the sugar, and the salt. And we're going to put this into our baking dishes. Now you can choose if you'd like to um, put this all in one baking dish to make a really large cobbler. I think that probably, if you eat normal sized desserts, and who does that? It should feed 12 or 6. Um, but we're going to put this cobbler. Let me just make sure this gets all incorporated. Hey, Henry, can you slide out of the way so that everybody can see this beautiful fruit just a little bit? Movie kids. Um, 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 can I yes, yummy. 
Yes. Yeah, the chamois. Okay. So this is the uh, the carved portion of the cobbler. First, I said it was the the cobbler portion, but I guess it's all cobbler. This is just the topping, and it is pretty thick. But that's because it's gonna make like a biscuit on top. And I'm gonna drop it by the spoonful on top of the the berries. Yes, you may, police officer Henry. I don't know if you're gonna find it too interesting. Yes, I am. Okay. All right, I love you. Goodbye. Go watch a movie. Okay. See ya. I don't have a movie. Okay. All right. So in our little containers, we're gonna lightly butter them, and it's gonna get uh primal up in here with the way that I'm gonna be doing the butter. Oop. Neanderthal-ish, I guess. I feel like say. I'm getting behind on here. Okay, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of butter. This just happens to be salted because that's what I have. But I'm gonna take it and lightly mix it all. I'm gonna butter the uh, the baking dish. It's okay if uh, there's little chunks of butter. <laughs> you know that says butter makes everything better. Quality. All right, so grease that. And I do have uh, three of these little baking dishes ready. I'm just gonna prepare one so you don't have to sit here and watch me grease all three of them. Show you how to prepare these. So this was easy, right? This is gonna go into a um, 375 degree oven. It's gonna let it bake for about 30 minutes so it gets all bubbly. All right, and this is how we're going to assemble it. What you got? Um, just on the wine. Sure. Um, let's see, Tina was asking, is it strawberry wine? No, it's not strawberry wine, but what, what does it say on the back? Does well, it say anything about what it- it's a sparkling it... wine, but you know how they'll say, oh, well, this wine has uh, hints of, in this case, strawberries and citrus. So no, it's not a strawberry wine. It's a sparkling wine that just, goes really well with poultry or fish. Uh, in this case, I thought that it, when you think strawberries, I think bubbles. Champagne or Prosecco going along with chocolate covered strawberry. I mean, it just kind of goes hand in hand. And so when I was thinking about what kind of cocktail I wanted to have while I was making this, I try to pair them together. It doesn't always, it's not always gonna be that way and it doesn't always have to be that way but I just thought that bubbles and dessert went really well together. So no, not a strawberry wine, but um, a sparkling. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's get our strawberries in the bottom here. Ooh, yeah, cool. you think it's gonna be yummy? Okay, we're gonna top this with some Vanilla ice cream later. I know what I might only need there. to have two. I'm gonna ask my production guy to step in. <laughs> he can't. I can't. I'm trapped over here in the corner. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. You guys share the stool, please. Thank you. Share it. Okay. I'm angry. <laughs> no. Can leave it right there, please. All right, and so this is about, oh my, this is um, about three quarters of the way full. And we're going to take our spoon and drop this mix on top. And it's gonna kind of create like little tiny biscuits that are gonna, that are gonna bake right on top. And the best part about a cobbler is that it doesn't have to be perfect. You can just, Put it right on there to create a topping. Yum, yum. yum. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh. Can we have some butter? Not right this second. How about that? How are y'all doing in, uh, in quarantine, by the way? Everybody surviving? I have no idea what people are saying because I lost the comments <laughs> wherever I, I pressed something when I was swiped and I now I've lost all comments. All right. Need some butter. I'm flying blind here. Okay. Well, this is what one of them is gonna look like. Now the, the uh, topping is going to bake. I'm gonna put some turbinado sugar right on top. And turbinado sugar 
is okay. very coarse sugar okay. that is not very refined. And so it's raw, basically raw. But I'm going to add it on here because I think that it's going to add a crunch and a sweetness right to the top. And then the ice cream that we're going to top it with later is going to, it's just going to be fantastic. So right on top of our, eating the butter, right on top of our uh, biscuit dough, so our cobbler dough, I'm going to put a little bit of the sugar. And it's large flakes, so you can really see where it's going. I'm being, it looks like I'm going back a bunch of times, but I'm being yes. um, conservative here. Nora. All right. No. No. And so we're going to take. No, that's way too much butter. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Oh, my, my goodness. Bye-bye. Yes. Down and out. No. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. Go. Go and go. Bye-bye. We love them. We really do. All right, so this is what one of the cobblers looks like. I don't know if we can pan in here and see. There you go. And it's going into the oven at 375 degrees. It's going to bake for about 30 minutes or until all of those juices start to bubble up. And uh, you'll know when it's done, when the, when the biscuits are looking. They're not going to rise too, too much, but they will rise. And when they get brown and they look like they're, they're all done, about 30 minutes. And again, we're going to top it. Let me show you what we're going to top ours with. We've got some vanilla bean ice cream. We're going to top that on right on there. And also, that is where the mint is going to come into play. We're going to add just little bits of mint, maybe julienne it, or maybe even just a leaf or two right on top. I promise I'm going to take a picture and I will post it to the uh, Facebook Live feed so you can see. Unfortunately, you don't really get a bite, so I guess that means that you're going to have to uh, make it yourself. So it was easy this time, but I thought that it was re we deserved a dessert. So before we go, Sprouts Farmer's Market wants to give a $25 gift certificate to Billy Ridgeway. You are the winner this week. So Billy, congratulations. You just got a $25 gift certificate to Sprouts. And uh, cheers, you guys. Thanks for joining me for Episode 5 of Cooking with Katie and a Cocktail.